me about Smithfield. Lad will listen one day to the boat bag of witchmen that was hunting nearby. So I was hoping to ask him. Will you raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. D E R. It's raining, -E it's pouring, and Vermeer's snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and wet himself. Good morning. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dent out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Lost his boots in the rush. Lost his boots in the rush. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding. But not badly. Surface wound. Me 
Grand told me about the Smith's boy. Lad went missing one day, so folks had a wish that was hunting the guy. Hunt started bears. poking him, asking. When well, he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, so it were. Except it was some drowner well, uh, that had freak. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen. We can work this out, man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. I... I gotta... Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Looking for trouble? Your grand told me about the Smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witch. ...nearby, started poking him, asking. When he started twisting and squirming, so wham, bam, they knocked his head off. Oh, so it was. Except it was some drowning that had sat on him. Witcher, had not to do with it. Let me a hand in the orchard. Trees need pruning. We'll talk about this later. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years! Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Oh, 
You talk bigger bollocks than a new rights unit. What did you say? <gasps> Who told you that? Uh, Freak. <coughs> Listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadfully ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. I feel for you, but this is my job. So let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. That settles it then. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Well, strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Grass around the well scorched.
range. She's not attacking. Something's tied the Noon Wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. Blood but stains. It's not his blood. Barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. in blood. No. Another print by the what? Whoa, got too close. She'll be back tomorrow. Something's keeping her here. Blood stains. Almost faded. But the line's taut. Something's not right. A corpse. 
hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw, a woman, round 30 judging by the teeth, left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription. To Claire, from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. the bracelet. Igni.
Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Or that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. Ooh. Ugh! <laughs>